My name is Mary Louise Porter, and we are capturing the essence. This is the Cane River, and this is where I began to paint Cane River Morning. This river has always fascinated me. I have it in many of my paintings. So I come out here every morning, and in the morning the light is so bright and so intense, very unlike today with the clouds. And I would try to capture that, that freshness that the morning had to offer. I enjoy the outside when I'm painting and I like to be in the moment of painting outside. So coming here every morning and, and looking at the colors, and it would change every day because you never know what the weather is quite going to do. So the, the reflections, the light, everything would change each day. So it was sort of my job as the artist to sort of capture what I want to see. And then I would take the painting and go back to the studio, add my elements, come back out the next morning and look and see what, how it changed and what I wanted to add to my painting. So the painting was constantly evolving uh, as I began to paint. And the colors here are very gray, uh, very, uh, very monotone, but in my paintings, as an artist, you can choose the colors you like. Um, I really tried to capture a layering effect. When you see my painting, it's, it's a layering of lights and darks. You can see the rippling effect in part of the river, and then you can see the deep reflection, even right now, with the deep reflection going on. So, um, and something about the perspective, being, being here, I wanted the viewer to sort of be present, that they were actually standing on this dock and they were looking down the river just like, just like I am right now. This is Beaujardin in Natchitoches, and one of the things that drew me to this particular spot is this is an area where um, a lot of people get married, so it was sort of a, a beautiful way to represent love and marriage. And, and when I did this painting, it was an early, early Sunday morning, so it was very, very quiet here. And a lot of times when you're outside, depending on the weather, what is going on, that affects you when you're uh, actually painting. So in this particular painting, I didn't even realize it at the time, but there are long, linear strokes uh, that are going on in here. And the tree here uh, it sort of frames the area where people do get married, it's, it's right there. So I kind of wanted to keep it very simple, very serene. When I painted the Cane River morning, uh, the water was reflective and choppy, and in this one, totally different feel. So it's very important to me as an artist to be outside looking at what you're doing and capturing what you are seeing right in front of you. One of the themes of my show is capturing the essence and that's the very very heart and, and the very beat of what you're actually looking at. This is Chaplin's Way and when I was painting this the again talking about when you're out painting you are affected by what's around you. And this particular day, the wind was blowing really fast, the leaves were rustling across, and I want to, again, I want to sort of capture that. So in this particular painting, it's very different from uh, the other paintings in that you can see the layering effect over and over, and that was part of that rustling of the leaves going on and the clacking of the, uh, the reeds in the back. But way in the background was this calm, and that, again, that's what you want to do when you're painting, at least when I'm painting, is I want to bring some kind of focus that the viewer can rest on. So I enjoy this, and especially the colors. It was fall, and the colors are totally different. And we have the, the rust and the yellows, and of course the contrast of the violets. But this has got a lot of energy, and that's what I like a lot about this painting. When you begin to put anything on campus, a, a student, and they begin to put paint or color, they're, they're so, um, what's the word, um, scared, <laughs> basically, to put a line or a color because all of a sudden that represents who they are and, and people see that. So if I can make you feel more comfortable about laying the colors down and experiencing and, and releasing a lot of things and enjoying with the process, just enjoying the process of creating. It doesn't make any difference what the outcome is, really. It's, it's that process of creating. If the outside's good, then that's letting you. But it's, it's helping you create your spirit and your joy and your passion for what you see. And that is what a teacher should do, but also as an artist. 
in California, I taught several of the classes for uh, Thatcher School, and I did several plein air workshops there, and taught the students how to look at color and look at landscape, and to do basically what I do, to sort of capture what they're seeing right there in front of them. I think so many people are used to working from photographs, and I don't, I don't do that. I think you have to be right there. I want my paintings to go next is, is three-dimensional. I want to begin to do public art and so people can walk around my art, be a part of the art and get immersed in it. And so now I'm looking at more of sculptural forms outside. So you could be in a park and you would walk up and you would see my paintings in a, a totally different form. So th that's exciting to me. So we'll see where that, that transpires and how that goes. But that's sort of where I want to go next. I, I love to travel, and I think traveling obviously affects my, my artwork and what I do. So I want to travel, I like to travel to Spain, and see how the light and the environment is affected there. I'd like to go to uh, so different countries and paint. I uh, also would like to, again, get immersed right here in Louisiana. New Orleans is very, very vibrant. And so I can see my landscapes and my work there in New Orleans and also in that, that new three-dimensional form that I want to create in the public art. So I'm sort of excited where I'm going. There are no limits and that's the beauty about being an artist. There are no limits. So who knows?